Here are 10 JavaScript one-liners that will save you a lot of time. Number 1. Remove duplicates from an array. Now instead of having to sort an array and loop through it or using any other methods that require a bunch of lines to implement, you could simply use a set. A set always stores unique values. So create a new variable within the array, create a set and assign it to the array which contains the duplicates. This set will automatically contain only the unique values. Then we can simply spread the values from the set to our new array. And as you can see, our new array contains all unique values. Number 2. Reverse a string. You can easily reverse a string using split, reverse and join methods in JavaScript. Split will simply split the entire word into comma separated letters within an array. Reverse will reverse all the elements within that array and join will join all those reversed elements and return the array as a string. As you can see, we get the reversed value of explodivity as intended. Number 3 is swapping two variables. We can easily swap variables in JavaScript with just one line without having to use a third variable. We can use the swapping operation using the destructuring assignment. The values of x and y are swapped by assigning them new values from an array y and x. The array y x contains the values of y and x in reverse order. So x now becomes John and y becomes Bob. And remember to add the semicolon after variable initialization otherwise JavaScript throws an error. That's because in some cases if you omit the semicolon, the JavaScript engine might interpret it differently and combine the lines together resulting in a syntax error. Now number 4 is find the maximum value in an array. Here we can simply use the math.max method to find the maximum value within the array and use the spread operator to spread the elements of the array as separate arguments to the math.max method. Now as you can see we get the maximum value returned. Number 5 is find the minimum value in an array. This is the same as the previous one just that except math.max we need to use math.min and now you'll get the minimum value returned. Moving on to number 6 which is check if a string is palindrome. A palindrome is a word that reads the same backwards as forwards. We can compare the string race card to its reversed form in the right by using split to convert each character of the string into an element in the array. Then reverse the elements in the array by using reverse method. And then concatenate all the elements of the array back into a string using join. The left and right side can be compared. If they are exactly the same, it means the original string is a palindrome, otherwise not. Now number 7 is to check if two arrays contain the same values. The r equal function will determine if both arrays contain same values or not. It takes both arrays to be compared as parameters. Then we can simply sort and then apply the join method to both the arrays to concatenate the sorted elements into a string with commas as separators. If both sides of the string are equal, the function will return true which means two arrays contain the same values, otherwise it's not. Number 8 is merging two arrays using JavaScript. We can do this by creating a new array and using the spread operator to expand the elements of array 1 and array 2 into separate elements. These elements are then combined into a new array within the merged array. As you can see, the merged array contains a combination of both arrays. Number 9 is to capitalize a string. Capitalize means the first letter of a word or sentence has to be in uppercase. We can simply define a capitalize function that takes a string as parameter. Then we can retrieve the character at the index 0 which is the first character of the string and convert it to uppercase. Lastly, the slice1 function is used on the str string to extract a substring starting from index 1, effectively only removing the first character. Finally, we can concatenate both sides to return a capitalized string. Now the last one, number 10, is scroll to top. This will allow us to scroll to the top of the web page on any action such as a button click. I'll add some dummy content to increase the height of the content and to get a scroll bar. And in the bottom there is a button. On clicking this, I want the page to move to the top. For that, in the button click function, we can simply use the scroll to method on the window object and pass 0, 0 as the arguments, which means scroll to the top left corner of the window. Now as you can see, if I click on the button, the scroll bar moves to the top. So those are 10 very effective and useful JavaScript one-liners you can utilize to save your time. That's all for the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.